been almost two months. How long for you? They should let me out next summer. Lucky bastard. You do great. No gain, no pain, my brother. You ain't got what it takes, brother. No, Just no, give up no, now, no, my no man. Don't try to fight the guard. Don't listen to these guys motherfuckers. Guys oh, all right. And a couple Sorry. of sandwiches Maybe short of a cannot be trained, so brother. In ways. The war. Why not? But what? Men make you deal. You teach me best. Me teach you. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> You know, fellas, my ma was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! Yeah. Uh. This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dago! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Come on, you oh. oh. and your boyfriend back. Oh. This is gonna be easier than the time I shot the potato up your mother's ass. Oh. You eat faggots for breakfast? <laughs> We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. From what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess you can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. <laughs> footwork, Pepe. Remember your footwork. Remember, good defense can win a fight, fellas. Every punch you take could be your last.
It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice, kid. Nice. nice Give me two more of those. All right, one Shit, more. Shit, that had to hurt. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? <clears throat> well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... Well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, give me another 20. Yeah, that's it. Winston's offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine, I take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Come on, hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Yeah. That's how you doing, it. Vito? Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Keep it up. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that, and you'll be ready for a real fight. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neal. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? How's it going? I'm Vito. Chris, how can I help you? How's old man Galanti you know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now, but he was a hey, how you doing? back in the day. Damn good Sam, how you doing? No shit. Yeah, heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches before he went pro. Yeah, just... Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante, crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. They'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> ah, I need to learn that style. Oh. Ah, 
Yeah, this no happen if you use Tiger style. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scalata. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Yeah, that's the way to do it, my brother. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. <laughs> Your little cracker going down! Now, Vito, grab him and finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Let's Knock go, him in the Vito. Nuts. Put these bums back in their oh. place. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well... I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. <laughs> 